Planned Parenthood offices have yet to hear from Judge Pratt and big decisions will be made. Many patients are unable to be seen and rely on this organization for many services. I thought it was an option that I needed at that time, even though I wasn't necessarily doing anything. It was an option that I needed to take. I am concerned that they closed, though. Another patient, Dominique Barber, said he also depends on Planned Parenthood. feel like Parenthood. if something's wrong with you, you can go in there and they'll, they'll check it out. For you. As a result, people cannot seek out services on Wednesday over 26 locations. Closing decisions comes as a federal judge considers Planned Parenthood to attempt to regain Medicaid funding. Since the organization performed abortions, the state cut its tax dollars. Ryan McCann with the Indiana Family Institute explained that Planned Parenthood has a choice to stop performing abortions. You know, Planned Parenthood is more concerned about abortion than women's health. We're not cutting off women's health services. Those, those, those services are still being funded and are, and are available to women in Indiana. Scott Schneider sponsored the bill that cut the organization's funds. He is currently monitoring this week's development. I'm hopeful that uh, the judge who, you know, is an Obama appointee will, will handle this properly. Uh, but I also know there's some political realities out there as well that play into this kind of thing. Planned Parenthood officials expect to hear a decision by the end of the week. I'm Justin Crane reporting. <laughs>